Okay, uh, July 31st, 2014, 1.25 p.m. Now, this cat had this uh, scratching of the ear, scratching of the ear until, and until the ear canal is swollen. The owner has brought this cat to see the vet, three vets, in one practice, and uh, they, they didn't solve his problem, so they just gave him some ear drops, and uh, the cat still continues scratching, as you can see, these are the stains. Huh? Now this side, there's no scratching, it's all white, you see? All white, and uh, it's not swollen. So all these are not inflamed. You can see this side and this side. This side is inflamed. So in, in uh, veteran practice, you must solve the problem for the owner. If you don't solve the problem, then uh, the owner is not happy and uh, because he spends money, he's not happy. So now in cats with chronic otitis external, cats with, cats with otitis external, that means inflammation of the ear, you need to, to sedate the cat and do a ear irrigation. The ear irrigation, you use a syringe and you syringe the water in, which will be in the other video and then massage and get, get your all the dirty, dirty uh, discharge and, and dead cells which we saw just now, it's all inside the ears so if you strange it, the water goes in the water goes in and uh, and uh, the water goes inside and you flush out the, the dirt actually the water goes in here and flush out the dirt and uh, there will be small pieces of this is the one causing the trouble for the cat to so keep on scratching okay so after that then I want to change out then the the best is uh, you check under the microscope see whether there are, there are ear mites or not or infection so so you check under the microscope and normally there are bacteria, yeast, and check whether they are ear mites. Sometimes ear mites, that's why the, the cat keeps on scratching. Okay. So this cat had been sedated with zero tail, 0 0.9 ml, and uh, so was irrigated in the other video. So now we will check whether Whether there is any more, it's not, not so dirty now. And uh, so the owner will educate the owner what to do at home. So normally at home, three times a week, put five drops in. One, two, three, four, five. Then massage the vertical canal three times a week until all the dirt comes up from the horizontal canal. Now what happened to this cat is the dirt is actually inside the horizontal canal. The dirt is around here. So the, the dead cells are all stuck here. So they cannot come out. So no matter what ear drop the owner puts in, it doesn't help. So you need to irrigate, shoot in the water and get out the, the dirt. That's what we have done already. And uh, after irrigation now, advice to the owner is to put eardrops, take medication, antibiotics, and uh, best is uh, one month later, review the, the situation. Also, I have given injection, injection of uh, anti-mite, anti-inflammatory and antibiotics. So I would expect this uh, ear to become less inflamed and uh, back to normal. So once the ear is back to normal and all the, all the dead cells are out, then uh, this cat will recover. And uh, that is the treatment for chronic otitis external for a cat. Mainly it's ear irrigation. Okay.